let's take the next question that is question number 19 and it states in the balanced chemical equation and what is the balanced chemical equation lead nitrate a that is the stoichiometric coefficient combines with aluminum chloride b is the stoichiometric coefficient and then the formation of aluminum nitrate c is the stoichiometric coefficient and here is the lead chloride that is formed and its stoichiometric coefficient is d which of the following alternatives is correct so what you have to do you have to just first write down the chemical equation and you have to balance that and after balancing you can find out the values of a b c and d so first let's write the balanced chemical equation this is the chemical equation and if you balance this you will find here that the value of a is 3 the value of b is 2 the value of c is again 2 and the value of d is 3 and on the basis of that what's the correct answer just check it this is the option number 4 so here we can write the correct answer that is the option 4 now after this let's move towards the next question and that's the question number 20 now here's the question number 20 and it states the correct order of increasing number of alpha particles passing undeflected through the foils of gold, silver, copper and aluminium of 1000 atoms thickness each in a simulated alpha particle scattering experiment of Rutherford would be. What you have to find out? You have to find out the alpha particles passing undeflected. For this you have to just consider that number of alpha particles deflected is directly proportional to the z square and what is z there there is the atomic number which is represented by z so let's check the atomic numbers of these metals you can clearly see here gold has atomic number 79 for the silver it is 47 for copper it is 29 and for aluminium it is 13 so the least atomic number is with the aluminium and we just have to find out the number of undeflected alpha particle so lesser the value of z more would be the number of alpha particle which are going to be undeflected so on the basis of this if we compare the options you will see here that first option is correctly represent the situation and what is this this gold is have the least undeflected particles while this aluminium has the maximum so let's mark the correct answer for this question that is option number one and let's write the answer too. Now after this let's take the next question that's the question number 21. 